Right, hello, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be having a look at something that normally just kind of happens automatically for us under the hoods, um, but in some cases we uh, we need to know um, when it hasn't worked automatically for us, um, what might have gone wrong, uh, and how we can fix it. And there's also some optimization here as well, because sometimes it'll be enabled uh, and when we don't want it to be. So what am I talking about? Well, that's usage flags. So if I have here just the basic pillar from the uh, starter content, and if I open up the material, if I find over here in the details panel, if we scroll down a little bit, I'll just close these up. Uh, one of these things here is called usage, and these are the usage flags. And what that's doing is it's telling the um, the engine, it's telling the uh, the compiler when it converts our node-based network into HLSL, uh, which is the shading language that um, our, our materials are going to be written in, what to include. Um, and if I just go up here and open up the HLSL, shader code, HLSL code, um, what we're doing with our material editor is actually writing code. Um, and this uh, output file, um, it includes a lot of extra stuff, uh, a lot of things that are being um, potentially included. So anything here we're seeing with this hash, these are all um, commented out, um, I believe. And so actually, what our, our actual shader is doing is somewhere encased in all of this code. And there's a lot of it, um, but it's also got lots and lots of extra bits um, that we might need. So if we're using physical depth offset, include this stuff. Basically, is my understanding of how this works. Um, and one the compiler looks at what our inputs are, um, it looks at what we need or what it needs um, and so it knows what to include and what not to. Again, all happens under the hood automatically, um, but one of the things that it knows or one of those ways it um, it works it out um, is the usage flags here. So by default this is set being to use with static lighting and instant static meshes, um, but if I just go in to my scene, I've got my... Oh, go away. Um, got my, my mesh here. I've also got a spline mesh actor, so I've just created a spline mesh um, from let's do it again from here from the uh, create menu. Um, and if I take that same pillar, pillar 5050, um, and assign it to be our, our mesh in the spline mesh actor, you can see how the compiler, the, the renderer, uh, needs to recompile the shaders. Um, so what that's done now is it's automatically set that to be um, used with spline meshes. And if I open this up, there it is, it's now used with spline meshes is enabled um, and because of that I had to recompile and that's why we get that little pause just change that to the other axis um, which is fine, automatically Unreal has done that for us but if what we decide later on that was a mistake and we don't want to be using that, so I might just delete this it's not going to automatically go away again um, so now this material and basic wall, it's always got this uh, this used with spline meshes um, and it could be um, could be unnecessary, it could be extra. It says here, um, this will result in the shaders required to support slime meshes being compiled, which would increase compile time and memory usage. So we're paying a cost for this now that we're not actually using in our in our scene because we're no longer using that mesh as a spline mesh. Similarly, here we have a particle system. If I open this up and just assign that basic wall material as a particle material, again it's going to take some time to compile. We can see it's um, having to recompile our shaders for us. Uh, and we haven't changed anything in the shader, but Unreal's picked up the fact that it doesn't have um, oh, video capture's struggling while the uh, compile's happening, but there we are. Um, it's picked up the fact that it needs to be used as a particle um, and then automatically come back and set that usage flag for us. So now it should be set used with particle sprites, and there it is. And if we did turn that off um, and just uh, compile that, apply it, um, it should no longer work on the particles. Um, but I think actually what it might do is work out automatically. It says, no, nope, that doesn't work. I'm not going to be used in a way that doesn't work for me. Um, and it's just re enabled that automatically for us. So, um, like I say, generally um, Unreal will just take care of this for you kind of um, transparently. But it does mean that if you've used a material as a particle or on something like a spline mesh, um, then you're paying a cost for that. It might be that you want to make a spline mesh version of it. I don't know. You might have to get into the profiling and see how expensive this extra cost is. Um, but it's worth worth bearing in mind and worth knowing about. Now, like I say, generally this is okay. Um, but the one time I think occasionally it doesn't work, and I think maybe this is fixed because trying to demo it here, um, 
was the spline mesh. So it used to be that the spline mesh actor um, wouldn't necessarily automatically pick up that usage flag for you. And I think maybe it's a thing in blueprints, in fact. So if I just create a blueprint actor and add a spline mesh component dynamically in here. So if I do this, uh, spline, if I add a spline mesh there. Let's try this. Um, let's say SM arrows, world grid material. This is not fine. Don't to worry about your error. So this is not set with any usage flags currently. If I just create a test material, let's do it this way and see how this works. So um, test. Terrible name for a thing, but we're working quickly. I'm just going to plug a color into base color. Let's make it green. Why not? So I have a material, the green color, and no usage flags set automatically. And then if I use my in my blueprint, and what I'm going to do is in the construction script, I'm going to do set materials, and I'm going to set it to be test. If I compile this now, we'll see whether this picks up our thing correctly. It looks like it has done. So, um, so yeah, there definitely has been in the past errors with um, usage flags not being set correctly. Might be that that's been fixed now but if there are ever materials you're getting that aren't compiling correctly and you're using them on something that's maybe not as uh, normal um, sort of everyday use um, as a sort of static mesh if you're using it on a spline or morph targets something like that where it's a bit more unusual Unreal should and maybe it's fixed now um, should just pick up and handle those things for you automatically but again worth knowing about because it might be that we've assigned this here, used it on a spline mesh, decide not to use it later, and then we're still paying that legacy cost for the thing that we're no longer using. So, interesting to know about. So, I hope that's been helpful. Um, as always, if you have any questions or comments or anything, do let me know. Um, and yeah, big shout out and thank you to all my Patreons for supporting the channel, uh, and I'll see you all next time.